By the way, Captain, Sergeant Yumi was looking for you. Sounds like he's gone. If you think about it, if a neuroamp helps you get a better job, it basically... You are a visitor? You'll find the ambassador. Visitors are only allowed in the lobby, offices, or conference rooms. Terrors, as in more than one? All that security, and they still can't protect their own spaceport. The UC never fails to disappoint. I just wish I hadn't received the news from an SSNN broadcast. We have a strategic advantage to maintain, Mr. Long. Of course, ma'am. Uh, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Uh, excuse me. Are you supposed to be in here? Official business? I'm sorry. Talk Do you, you have an appointment? Ah, you're the one McIntyre called about. The eyewitness. She said you were at the spaceport. You have my thanks for what you did down there, truly. Saved many lives. Now, she also mentioned that, and maybe it was just a bad connection, that now the UC wants Terramorph data from the Armistice Archives, some of the most highly guarded information in the galaxy, in order to protect us all. I can only presume you're here to tell me I misheard her and that they didn't send you, local hero, to futilely beg on their behalf. Tell me I've got that right. Hmm. I was afraid of that. Let me be frank, Captain. The answer is no. That information is there because it is dangerous. I will not be the one responsible for its release. Now, why don't you quit wasting my time and yours and go? You're really gonna push this? All right, I will give you one chance, one, to convince me. Understood. I'm listening. Oh yes, this band research is precisely what the factions need to kickstart their relationship. Let's breed a bioweapon together. And those lives are in my hands. I suppose you're right. Our job and our responsibility. You think this is about a grudge? <laughs> this is about safety. And that's not something I take lightly. Captain, I'm sorry, but my answer is not changing. The UC is just gonna have to find another way. Now, I presume you can see yourself out. That woman is an absolute... Oh, sorry. Oh, what? You're the Vanguard captain, right? You know, I was about to board the Nat to the spaceport when the alarm triggered. Sounds like I got real lucky. And like I've got you to thank for things not being a lot uglier. Well, then you have my earnest thanks. But, but look, they said you were coming here on official business. The Ambassador likes to handle all that personally, even if she does have trained diplomats here to help her. And I don't want to get shipped back to Aquila City, so you should probably go speak to her. You want to work with me? I... Why don't we talk somewhere uh, a bit more private?
So you want me to work with you? But why now? Why me? No, I, I think that's a pretty safe assumption. And no other city should have to go through what happened here. So then, uh, what would you need from me? Her quarters. Huh. Well, that's doable. And you and the UC will be providing me with what for my services? Oh, wait. I thought you were looking to hire me. Oh, I'm not taking a bribe. Really? Uh, okay, uh, you've got yourself a deal. Okay, so there's a utility corridor that leads into the ambassador's quarters, which you can access through the main conference room. Here, the key. Whatever you do, don't let the guard see you entering or exiting the utility section, or you're gonna be in serious hot water. I'll, uh, I'll keep an ear out for more instructions from the UC. Guests can make themselves comfortable in the lobby. Did I not make myself abundantly clear, Captain? You're not getting access to the Archives. Excuse me? I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, uh, no, no. If the Council found out, I'd lose my position. I'd be exiled. I'd be... Look. I believe we may have gotten off on the wrong foot. The issue at hand is one of 
trust, no? So perhaps if I can trust you to keep this little secret between us, then maybe we can find a way to trust the UC with access to the archives. Good, good. I appreciate you working with me. Just like I'm sure our great powers will. In fact, I think there's an opportunity here. Keep both our factions happy and ensure an air of legitimacy to the whole proceeding. I can only let you get the information on the Terramorphs. Anything else and people will get suspicious. And all research will need to be monitored. Freestar scientific observers making sure everything's being used for the right purposes. But those two items should be enough to allay any suspicions. Good, good. Okay, let's go get you your access. You're allowed three places. Conference room, lobby, or the ambassador's office. You set foot anywhere else, there's going to be problems. They tell me it should only take a moment. And there. Here you go. Uh, I hope that'll be enough to maintain your discretion.
So, what seems punishment becomes providence. <laughs> A reminder we can never truly know the Great Serpent's designs for us. You have my thanks, and my apologies for the ordeal you just endured. Come, let us discuss. Not the ideal introduction, I suppose, giving you a grand tour of the embassy via barely functioning intercoms. <laughs> I do greatly appreciate your persistence. I suspect the Venom Tree upstairs has worked itself into more systems than I'd realized. But then again, who could cage such a beauty? Eh? Tell me, though, what is it like outside? I heard the broadcast mentioning an attack, uh, then the embassy was struck with a power surge, and then... Silence. Has the rest of the city suffered quite so badly? I take it you didn't have such an experience where you were, then, hmm? Yes, the entire embassy was thrown into lockdown. Trapping me in my quarters, disabling the Venom Tree's filters, and arming the defenses. A disconcerting experience, to say the least. Was the rest of the city spared? Ah, is that right, huh? I shall need to have these repairs seen to sooner rather than later. Now, it cannot solely be the Serpent's Grace that brought you here at such an opportune moment. You were sent by the UC. That much is obvious. Who else could just waltz through my door, hmm? And the broadcast spoke of terror morphs at the spaceport. A worrying occurrence, certainly, but coming here of all places, when all I could provide is some enthused cheerleading and... Uh, ah, an archive code. So the UC requires information, then. On terror morphs, presumably, hmm? Do I see this all clearly? Yeah, the preservation of life stands as the very purpose of the Archives. Using its data to prevent more attacks... There is logic there. But, if I am to grant you access, I have a requirement. For years, House Varun has been known only as an agent of slaughter. We founded this embassy with hopes of shedding that legacy. With little success. In exchange for my code, I require this. You must be the one who ensures it is used for good. Ensure House Varun's legacy is more than just carnage. The knowledge you ask for isn't evil. No knowledge is. It is we who bend it to evil ends. Oh, you must assure me this will be used to save lives, not endanger them. Well, then I shall not fear. Please. Follow me. Uh, let's hope it still works. And there. Let it be used for good.
hope you're fine. I know we're safe now, but I... oh, please take a look. Appreciate the business. Crime has slowed down since you started helping out, which is good for morale. I do. Thanks to you, the spaceport is up and running again, which is good for commerce, but also for smugglers. We've received a tip that someone has been bringing in contraband into New Atlantis through the spaceport, and we need to investigate. Great. First, speak to one of the technicians over by landing pad B. Ask them if they've noticed any suspicious activity. Once you've gotten a lead, cross-reference their testimony with ship records over at Aegis. When you're done, report back to me with your findings. See you later. You are. I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of my division's work. That I do, Captain. Sergeant Yumi said you'd be coming to pick it up. You've got good timing, too. 
I actually have a friend on a classified star station who sent me this list of potential smugglers the other day. Here you are. Given I owe you for the last job, I hope it serves some use. We'll be seeing you. Captain, I just received a couple messages from an operative in the embassy office. Uh, did, did you actually succeed? With Radcliffe? And Balmore? Was he alive? Did they both actually agree? That's incredible. I wasn't sure Radcliffe would ever get on board. I'm very much looking forward to getting the debrief on how precisely you managed to pull all this off, but that'll have to wait for another time. Regardless, superlative work, Captain. And now, I've already arranged everything with the archival monitors. When you get down there, the UC monitor will give you instructions on how to deploy the codes. Follow them to the letter. Here, the UC code piece and an archival access card. The entrance is just on the other side of the plaza across from Mast. Absolute best behavior down there, all right? Okay. Hello. Yes? You needed something? Excuse me. There you are. Captain, 
Surprised to find out we're having visitors as we work. Major Sinan and I were just discussing the merits of your planned interfactional cooperation. And I think it's a great idea. Get them invested in the solution. Make it clear we've got nothing to hide. I'm sure they'll be lovely house guests. Now, Captain, if you wouldn't mind transferring the documents to the Major, she and I have been discussing next steps. Time for us to start getting some real answers and figure out if we've been asking the right questions. So whenever you're ready. Acknowledged and accepted, Captain. So with the data out of the way, we've been discussing where exactly this work's getting done. The Red Devil's headquarters on Mars, back where you found Percival, seemed the natural spot. Already has the equipment, the safety measures. Should even be able to house its own cadre of independent observers. Though it sounded like the deputy had a few more things she needed to discuss with you first. Indeed. The most important of which is getting you your citizenship. Then I guess we'll see you on Mars. Captain, if you'll follow me. Daddy? Always good to see another badge. All right, Captain. Are you ready to become a citizen of the United Colonies? Good. This isn't the only item we need to discuss, so I'll give you the short version. Please raise your hand. Captain, through your actions today and in days past, you have earned your place among the United Colonies. Through service, bravery, strength, and upholding of the mutual good. Will you carry and cultivate these values for as long as you remain a citizen? Uh, then, Captain, I'm pleased to welcome you into the United Colonies as a full citizen. Here, your official ID and your citizenship dispensation. We've also let the Aphelion Realty Office out in the plaza know you're approved to purchase property. Now, the other item we needed to discuss. There's a member of the UC who's asked to speak to you, but this person is in a... sensitive position. Normally, we wouldn't even consider something like this. But we think this person has information that could prove useful in dealing with the Terramorphs. And they've stated they'll only share it with you. They asked for you by name. So I need your agreement that everything you're about to see is kept in the strictest confidence. You can tell no one. Can you agree to these terms? Let's hope it never comes to that. Head to the elevator. You're going to subsection 7. I'll make sure you're cleared for access by the time you get there. Is that your ship that landed not too long ago? Accomplishments you've managed. 
But now you face a foe unlike any other. An invisible enemy, lurking in the shadows. You're going to need all the help you can get. Which is why I hoped we could speak. Do you know who I am? Mm -mm. Not quite. I'm Francois Fanon. But most know me as... Victus. I was an admiral during the Colony War. One of its great villains, if you believe the slates. I was to be executed for my crimes. But the previous regime deemed me... too valuable to simply discard. So they put me here. A sacrifice on the altar of peace. Even my death served the colonies. Astute. That's my daughter. My progeny. You've been working alongside. Has she shared with you the nature of our little family? Uh, did she? So willing to trust Hadrian. I never did succeed in driving that out of her. Our relationship has always been a challenging one. The Major was born to become a great leader, carry on the legacy I established, and was given all the finest training to support it. And she excelled. But the universe cut all that short. Now, though, it's placed even more crucial work in front of the two of you. And I think I have a part to play in helping you accomplish what you've set out to do. Some long years earning the trust of this current regime, the UC has been permitting me to work alongside one of their recovery teams, helping them gather intelligence on, locate, and organize scenarios to lure in some of the criminals that evaded justice after the colony war. With quite a few successes, I might add. But in the process, I managed to find something else. The names and locations of Hadrian and Percival's old research team. Valuable manpower for the effort you're about to embark on. I'll tell you where they are. But in exchange, I need something dealt with. There is a former colleague of mine. A man by the name of Dr. Reginald Orlais. Like myself and Hadrian, he was involved in some of the United Colony's more problematic lines of research. Mech weapons were his specialty. If it dealt death, he could make a deal more. When the Colony War ended, he fled, refusing to face tribunal, and has continued to peddle his skills to the highest bidder to this day. But I finally found him. I want you to track him down and deal with him, however you're able. I'm not expecting he'll come quietly. Bring me evidence that the job's done, and I'll tell you what I know. Good. According to my information, he's been hiding around the world of Etheria. Wolf system. There's a star station in the vicinity. The Den. The head of the local vanguard, one Captain Marquez, should be able to help you find our man. Identity verified. You may proceed to the exit. Captain, did your, uh, meeting go well? I hope it's clear now why we needed you to agree to all the secrecy.
Captain, please, keep your voice down. The situation with the prisoner is a complex one. A holdover from a different era. But it's a situation we've been managing, as discreetly and humanely as we can, for some time now. And the most critical part of that management is making sure no one else learns of it. Do I make myself clear? The Major doesn't have clearance for this sort of information. And she certainly doesn't need a distraction from her current very important work. Which is why I need you to keep this to yourself. Good. Because bringing this up to the outside world would create the unfair appearance, Captain, that you're unhinged. And that's not a good look for any of us. Now, was there something in particular you needed to discuss about what we were just discussing? Dr. Reginald Orlais? He's finally found him. Of course, killing Orlais is completely out of the question. But bringing him to justice... He's been on the lam for years. That'd be a huge win for the UC. What's being offered in return? Allowing you to kill someone on behalf of the prisoner? Absolutely not. But taking the chance to bring a known criminal to justice? Well, the old man's been right more than a few times in the past. So, what's being put on the table here? Really? He found the members of the research team. We'd already initiated a search for them, but it'd save a lot of time and manpower if he just gave us that information. Captain, if that's the deal, you have my endorsement. Just so long as you make every effort to bring the man in alive. Now, was there anything else you wanted to discuss regarding your meeting? The Den? It's a star station. Orbiting Wolf. The second star station, actually, to bear that title. The first one was blown to smithereens by House Varun during the Serpent's Crusade. The place has always acted as a remote strategic hub, primarily for repairing and refueling UC military vessels. But because of its distance from the rest of the UC, things there have always been a little more lax. Patrols included. I can think of worse places in the galaxy for a criminal to hide out. Trusting the man downstairs would be a mistake, but I don't think you need to be too concerned. This is far from the first name he's handed over, and all previous missions went off largely without a hitch. So while I'd certainly warrant caution, I think you can proceed. Then I'll bid you good day, Captain, and remind you of the importance of discretion. Okay. Hello. Has it found those smugglers yet? Is that right? Do you know the name by any chance? Captain Enjai's ship. I think you might have hit the mark here. You had reports of their crew being less than professional on several occasions. Still, being a little rough around the edges isn't exactly a crime. Are you sure it's the right ship? Then the next step is searching their cargo for any smuggled contraband. And, as luck would have it, I believe the Anansi has already arrived at landing pad B. I'll make the call to have the ship detained until further notice. Your job is to board the ship, locate any illicit goods, and return them here. 
And if any of the crew puts up a fight, I trust you know what to do. Good luck. See security. I suggest you, you turn around and pretend you saw me. Looking for something? Well, it looks like you got me, officer. I guess this means my potato shipping days are numbered. But maybe you'd be willing to give a first-time offender a slap on the carpal bone. I don't suppose you're interested in a deal? Fine. You've made your choice. But now, you'll have to pay for it. You're not... You asked for... Ah! I can't do it. Better not. What was that noise? How's, in, how's the investigation going? No major hiccup. Good work. Did you find anything? Very well done, Captain. Time and time again, you come through for us. Initially, I felt bad for having someone of your rank doing security, but frankly, you're worse than guilt. In any case, I'll have a team move the ship off the landing pad and do a full sweep. Make sure there's no other surprises on board. Oh, and... Before I forget, your payment, it's well deserved. After that, how can I help you, Captain? Good timing. We just got word of a disturbance over by the Nut in the Embassy District. A vandal, it seems. I've already dispatched an officer to the site, but they probably could use some support. Talk to the officer, get an update, and interview any witnesses involved. Thank you. Normally, I wouldn't waste your time with this captain, but a functionary over at Mass reported the crime. He'll be thrilled to know that a captain of the Vanguard is on the case. 
See you later, Captain. Watch a lot of true crime movies. Be a big help. Stories. And you're certain that's what you saw? Oh yeah, he was wearing a flannel shirt underneath <laughs> a trucker jacket. Hmm, that doesn't match the description from the functionary. And you said he was running away from the tram. That's right. Oh, and he was carrying a book, A Tale of Two Cities. Okay, just hold that thought one moment, sir. I need to speak with the captain. Sure. There's a reward for this, right? Information leading to the capture? Sir, just give me a moment with the captain, please. Thanks for taking this case, Captain. I realize your time is limited. Thanks, Captain. To be honest, I'm a little starstruck. I'll do my best to keep things professional. This was supposed to be a simple case. We got an attempted vandalism, a knocked over bin, and a witness who called in to ID the suspect. We were about to head down to the well to apprehend the guy when this new witness comes forward with additional info. Just one problem. His story conflicts with the functionaries. Yes, sir. I was the one who took the call and reported it to Sergeant Yumi. Normally, we don't give this much weight to tipsters, but when it's a masked official, we tend to take them at their word. He said it was some kid from the well. According to him, the vandal ran to the tram, knocked over the bin, and took the net to the spaceport. He also said he recognized the kid's face. I ID'd him from security records and everything. The kid's name was, uh... To hear something. Sorry, Captain, I'm still new to this. I have it written down somewhere. Yeah, and then apparently ran off and knocked over a recycling bin. The perp made a bigger mess running away than he did with the spray paint. Well, we got two witnesses with conflicting stories. So I'd like to go interview Functionary Gershon in person. Their office is at Mast in the Interstellar Affairs Department. Affirmative. And as the higher-ranking officer, I'll let you take the lead, Captain. Am I getting paid for this? Am I gonna be on SSNN? Oh, sure. Yeah, so I'm riding the tram to Mast, and there was this working-class guy sitting next to me. Trucker jacket, flannel shirt, the works. Now, you'd think if you're about to commit a crime, you'd be a little less conspicuous, right? Try to, I don't know, blend in? Whatever. Anyway, I figure he's going to the spaceport to haul cargo or something. But instead, he gets off at the same stop. Now I'm really curious, but before I can ask him where he's going, he pulls out a can of spray paint and starts tagging away. So I yelled at him to stop, and that's when he bolted. Yeah, not every day you see one of those, so I got curious and took a peek. It was A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. My guess, he was using it as some sort of cover. Like, he gets you thinking he's some kind of brainiac and you see security turns their heads. Then out of nowhere, BAM! Crime time. I've watched a ton of detective serials, so I know what I'm talking about. I hate to break it to you, but some of us have jobs we need to go to. Besides, there were at least, like, ten other people that saw him, so sue me for being a little late with my civic duty. Okay.
Yes? What? Ah, Captain. Can I just say, it's a pleasure to meet the hero who stopped the Terrymorph invasion. And Officer Markanin, was it? I see you're here as well. Is there something the matter? We just need to go over your testimony again. I apologize, but I can't right now. I have an important meeting I need to attend. But I'd be happy to stop by UC security later and speak with your sergeant. That wouldn't be the best use of your time, Captain. It's far too valuable. I have a much better solution to help you along in your case. I encourage the both of you to check the information on my personal computer. I have written a detailed description of the Vandal, Wantahir Vala, a known criminal who resides in the well. It should have everything you need to apprehend the thief. Now, if you'll excuse me. Excuse me. Well, Captain, what do you think? Is what the functionary said true? Is this kid from the well our vandal? You sure, Captain? I get we got conflicting testimonies, but the witness at the tram wasn't exactly reliable. If not the kid, then who? What? Really? Do you have proof? Okay, Captain. I trust your instincts above all. And if the functionary's the perp, that means he not only committed the crime, but tried to frame the kid. If I can speak frankly, Captain, that really, really pisses me off. The functionary said he was going to chat with Sergeant Yumi, right? Let's head back to UC security and see if we can't give him what he deserves. There you are. Ah, just Captain. Functionary Gershon was just giving me his full statement. It's mostly repeating the documentation on my computer. I trust that was sufficient enough to make an arrest? To me? Don't be absurd, Captain. Surely this is a joke. Functionary Gershon, you're under arrest for vandalizing the tram and an attempted frame-up. Depending on what you told the sergeant, we can probably add false testimony to the list. Hold on. First off, these are very serious accusations, Captain. Are you sure you want to go down this road? More importantly, do you have any proof? Interesting. Not exactly the uniform of a functionary, is it? Now, that is pretty damning. 
Old Earth books are very hard to come by. The odds of this witness naming that exact book and the functionary owning said book, that's a long shot. Unless, of course, he's the perp. Well, you were right about the Terramorphs. Thankfully, the stakes are lower here. Well, I've heard all I needed to hear. Functionary, do you have anything to say for yourself? If you think I'm going to let you bring up these trumped up charges. That's enough. Officer Markinen, please escort the functionary to the holding area. Gladly, I will not take Sergeant. this accusation lying down. Of that, I can assure you. You can't do this. Your proof is circumstantial at best. Don't worry, functionary. We're not putting you in jail quite yet. Unlike some people, we respect the rule of law. You'll be hearing from my lawyer, Sergeant. Expect to be demoted to death duty by week's end. Well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? Now, that was a shock. Next time, give me some warning before telling me my star witness is the one who committed the crime. Very funny. Maybe for your next job, you ought to apply for a part-time comedian. Anyway, good work on this case. Functionary Gershon may talk tough, but I know his type. It won't take long for him to crack. And hopefully, that means the end of his obsession with the well. And, uh, speaking of endings, I was going to mention this earlier, but I didn't want things to turn all sentimental in the middle of your investigation. With all the new recruits as of late, our staffing problems are no longer an issue. Which means we've exhausted our need for a part-time security officer. Likewise, Captain. We have your position filled, but not your shoes. On behalf of the entire UC security department, I wish you the best of luck with the Vanguard and your future missions. And uh, if you ever need to talk or reminisce about the beat, I'll be here. Looking to lodge a complaint? Then you want UC security, not the Vanguard. Oh, apologies, Captain. Didn't recognize you without the uniform. So, what can I do for you? Think you got some bad information. If there was a wanted man in our skies, he wouldn't still be out there. Unless... Are you talking about the Warlock? There's been rumor of a ship out there for years now. Doesn't respond to hails, never docks. More than a few amateur investigators have tried to find it, and at least two never came back. Ethereus debris fields are plenty dangerous if you're not used to flying in them. But if you're suggesting it might not have been the fields that got them, well, I can give you the coordinates of the Warlock's last sighting. Sure thing. Here. This should get you pointed in the right direction. 
Good hunting, and stay safe.
some news for me regarding Dr. Olay's. Hmm. I'm not surprised. The man fled every consequence he ever faced. Of course, you don't expect me to just take you at your word, do you? Excellent. Please, deposit it in the transfer system. Transfer accepted. Captain, welcome back. I was afraid you might have gotten reassigned. You've been gone so long. So how's it feel to be a citizen? It should. You risked life and limb to earn it. But it is real good to have you here again. We've been going through the Terramorph data and, well, we're gonna need all the help we can get. These logs, they're even more thorough than I remembered. Genetic workups, population statistics, hell, even their food chain. I'd completely forgotten, for example, that there was a creature that actually ate Terramorphs. <laughs> At this point, the data's given us more options to explore than we have people to work on them. <laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't... I'm sorry, are you? You're serious. You found... our research team? That's... incredible! That accelerates... everything! With them back, it'll let us... Wait... Kaiser... Did you find Kaiser? That... That's right. You would need that. Whoever gave you these leads sure knew their stuff. Oh, well, how? How exactly did you manage to find them? <laughs> I 
<laughs> you can't be... Oh, you are serious. Okay, no more questions. Yeah, but still, getting Kaiser back, that gives us more than a few new paths forward on dealing with the Terramorphs. But if he's been out there on his own all this time, you're gonna need something. Come on. We've already made a lot of progress getting this place back online. Some of the containment chambers were a bit on the... ...unpleasant side. But the facility staff made short work of that. Pardon. I know it's here somewhere. Uh -huh. Here, Kaiser schematics. Actuators, weapons, batteries. That old robot's been MIA for a while, so chances are he's gonna need some repairs. He's also got a lock on his voice controls. You can give yourself authorization with the phrase, nos belli machinis. Now, where exactly is the old machine? A battlefield. On Nera? Ugh, oh, sheesh. No wonder no one's found him. That sector of Nera was destination number one for Xeno weapons during the war. Add to that general environmental devastation and the kind of lawlessness that comes with any Freestar world, and that planet's got more than enough ways to make a visit your last. But I think there's a place where you can start your search. Hmm. Yep. One of a kind salvage. Licensed to an Angelo Alonso. Goes by Gel. As good a place to start as any. And I'll make sure we're ready to put them to use as soon as you've got them. New model on the floor. Welcome to the one of a kind. Refuge and rest home for the hardest scrappers anywhere. Name's Jill, proprietor. So formal. The pleasure's all mine, my good man. Angelo Alonzo, at your service. You can call me Jill. Can I get you started on a tab, then? Or are you here to try and make your fortune in the fields? I'm happy to take your credits however you want to hike them over. Here's what I've got.
controls. The unlocked. Attempting to resume. Attempting to... Error. Our... Level. Insufficient. Factory. Required. Type. Microcell. Inquire at... Salvage Yard. Battery. Accepted. Operational power levels restored. Analyzing. Residual damage detected. Impact shielding. Visual systems. Damage within acceptable limits. Thank you for your aid. I must resume my mission. Please step aside. Major Sanon. We'll have to wait. I cannot leave my mission. Although, previous attempts to disarm the weapon have been unsuccessful. Additional support may allow me to complete my active mission more quickly, allowing me to leave this place. Excellent. We must disarm Unit XW-99. Designation, Siren. Nearest final Xeno weapon. Are you ready to proceed to the mission site? Hmm. Scans affirm your claim. Our work here is finished. Now, what is this mission you spoke of? Major Sanon is involved. A plague of Terramorph attacks. That is disconcerting. You are docked at one of a kind. I will meet you there. Shaped than I expected, Kaiser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion? Where are we going? Londinium. Hmm. Londinium, Doctor. I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. So the problem we're up against is vast. Terramorphs, they can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them ourselves isn't an option. But what if we could let something else do the work for us? Come on, I'll walk you through what we're thinking. You remember that creature we talked about before you went to Nera? The thing that eats Terramorphs, the Asilis? Apparently, they were bloodhounds for Terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the Colony War, the Asilis were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course, using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them 
and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. I really think it could. Now, there is another option for removing the Terramorphs from our worlds. It's faster, maybe even more efficient, but riskier. A microbe. Something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. Inclined that way myself. With either path, though, we're looking at a long-term commitment. Years of work. Even just getting these plans off the ground is going to take time. And all routes are going to require some highly specific materials to make things work. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. A Seelie's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines. Or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinian. Exactly what I was hoping to hear. Now, the UC has a small operating base on Londinian's outskirts. We're cleared for access, but we'll need to check in with the base commander, Sarah Hatoum, when we touch down. I'm gonna help Percival and Kaiser prep, but once that's done, we'll rendezvous with you there. But you need to know, Londinian? It belongs to the Terramorphs. They'll have anti-Xeno gear for us at the base, but I'd make sure you've got your favorite arms on hand. Hello? Yes? Goddamn planet. You romanticize a place when you're away from it for long enough, but I forgot what a dust-crusted pit Mars can be. Now you, uh, what do you need? Oh, that's you then. I was informed we might be working together. Don't much care for Vanguard. But sounds like you two really got into the thick of it back in New Atlantis. My sister's kids live in the city, so, um... Thank you for what you did there. Yeah, they both came through okay. One science division, others an artist. Effectively useless human beings that would have had no reason to be anywhere near the fighting. Still, I would hate to see anything happen to them. Now, what was it you needed? Don't worry.
No, I trust you, but the record streak. I'm only one away. Again. Roach. You know what happened the last time I was paired up? I don't want it. Roach. This new one to. What? Our new potential recruit. He's standing, standing right Standing right here. Yeah, I said I know. I'm aware of his presence. Have been since he walked in the door. I said what I said. I stand by it. Rookie, don't you dare let mind. me down. Let Got a lot talk. to prove around here. You prompt. Good trait for a tracker. Anyhow, we can talk about punctuality or we can get down to business. I am agent number one, or no one, if you prefer. It seems you've decided to entertain our offer. Good. A drop of enthusiasm can create an ocean of success. Remember that. However, it is not as simple as accepting and taking an oath. You must be tested in the field and face a true challenge before taking up the mantle of Tracker. Do you have any questions before we proceed? Excellent. Before we accept you as an official Tracker, you'll need to demonstrate competency in the field. To that end, I would like you to first accept the available bounty on the wanted display on the nearby wall, then report back to me. Look what the Astra dragged in. Good. You have your mission. Once you are a tracker, you may not get a briefing like this for your missions. You'll be expected to handle them by yourself. Excellent. I knew you could. The target for this mission is admittedly one of our toughest. Not because of how dangerous he is, but because of how often he has evaded us in the past. His name is Hannibal Eutropio. He's wanted for 94 counts of spaceship grand theft. We have reason to believe he runs a chop shop somewhere out in the fringes, but we do not know where. Luckily, we have been told that one of his associates, Adrastos Dakota, is currently here in Aquila City. For your first mission, you were assigned a partner, Roach. He will have more information. Speak with him. Roach is one of our best trackers. You would do well to learn from his techniques. I wish you the best of luck. Leave no quarter. Show no mercy. Well, if it isn't the rookie. Hey, so, uh, about earlier, when you first arrived, Right. You're not. Because when we're working together, you're going to follow my instructions so you can learn from a real professional. Good. Glad we had this talk. Now let's get down to business. This Adrastos guy is our ticket to finding Hannibal. We find him, bring him in, and get the information out of him. Any questions? Great. Adrastos was last sighted in town, so we're going to go out there and you'll use your scanner to find him. Once we do, we'll convince him to chat with us. By force, if need be. If you don't have any more questions, let's hit the road. Don't get yourself killed out there! Okay, Drastos is likely wandering the streets around us. Open up your scanner and look for anyone with a found. Hey, uh, can I help you? You know, he would be pretty pissed if he knew I squealed. Who knows what he'd do with me. I might take you up on that offer.
No thanks. I've got a firm don't deal with terrorists or trackers policy. I probably could. I'm just not sure that would work for me, you know? Hannibal. Hannibal. I might know someone by that name. If I'm picking up what you're laying down, you could probably make some of those charges go away if I cooperate, huh? Okay, fine, fine. I'll tell you what you want to know. Uh, what exactly do you want to know? Something about Hannibal, right? You need to tell us where he is. Then, as long as the intel's good, we can consider letting you off easy. Got it? You know, I wasn't sure I liked you, but I'm coming around. Truth is, Hannibal could be anywhere. I don't know how to tell you where he is. I don't believe you. You better start spilling but, more. But, but, I know where to find his chop shop. Yeah, of course. It's an old abandoned star yard in the Andromas system. Andromas 4A to be exact. Surrounded by a field of giant space rocks. Can't miss it. Actually, you can. That's kind of the point. Great. You're coming with us, then. You run, you die. You cause a commotion, you die. You so much as sneeze without asking. I die. I think I get it. Well, what are we waiting for? To the chop shop. Right. Hey, rookie. A word? Normally, you'd register Adrastos with the system and leave him bound for someone to come pick him up. But we need him to tag along with us. Now, if we show up in my ship, we'll lose the element of surprise. I'd rather keep our cards close to our chest. Gives Hannibal less chance to escape. Yeah, I've got one all right. See? The last guy I took in wound up dead and unknowingly donated his ship. It's a nice ride, and the parts are valuable. We'll use that. Drastos here is going to help us on the comms as we approach. Oh, I am? Or he'll find himself in deep space without a suit. He's going to play it as if he jacked a ship and brought it to be chopped up. And he's going to do it without giving it away that we're on board because he knows what'll happen if he does. As I was saying, I'm going to do just that. Great. Let's get to it then. The ship's parked at the spaceport. You'll be the one in the pilot seat so I can keep an eye on our good buddy Adrastos. Let's wrap this one up nice and quick. Hopefully. Not... Evening, sir.
yap should be right around here. You should expect them to hail you. When they do, keep your yap shut and let me do the talking, or else they'll know something's up. And there won't be any funny business, no tip-offs, nothing that seems like coded messaging, because Adrastos here knows what happens to an unprotected body in space. Yeah, I've heard. All right, shall we? Am I coming in? Well, loud and clear, Mr. Dakota. Perfect. Look, I just lifted this sweet ride from some poor sap in Aquila. I need to bring it into the shop. You got room? She's a beaut, all right. We'll get those numbers filed off, and then we'll decide if we want to keep her as is or strip her for parts. Bay one is almost free. You're clear to dock with it. See you on the inside. See? Look at that. Smooth and easy as chunks pie. Let's see. Make sure you're suited up and ready for anything, Mickey. Easy part's over. Expect resistance once we get inside. Something tells me they're not gonna take kindly to us. Probably not. Hey, uh, what about me? What about you? You're staying right here on board. Okay, rookie. Remember, they shoot at us, that's on them. They chose their fate. It's open season on assholes. It's my preference to take Hannibal in alive. He's more valuable that way. But if it comes down to it, got to do. Let's go get him.
Don't shoot! I give up! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold up! You got the wrong guy! I'm not Hannibal, I swear! I just work for him! Okay, okay. It's like this, see? Hannibal rarely goes out. But when he does, he goes under an assumed identity and leaves me in charge. Sometimes it's a Drastos, sometimes it's Chase, Jackie, Scotty, whatever. He's got a hundred of them. It's one of the reasons he never gets caught. I'm just Deke. Deke Hansen. What the fu- I don't want to believe him, but it makes sense. Sure, I ain't got nothing to lose. The whole reason he does this is in case someone comes looking for him. He's got to have at least a couple dozen other contingency plans even I don't know about. Luckily, Atrastos, uh, Hannibal, whoever the hell he is, is still on our ship. He didn't think that part through. What do you want to do with this guy? Your call, rookie. For what it's worth, I don't remember ever seeing a bounty for a Deke Hansen. You got it. We only get paid to bring back the bounties, not every criminal on the streets. Hello, Tracker. By now you've probably found my associate Deke and learned that he is not in fact me, and that I am not who I said I was. Darn it, I know, right? Anyway, if you look out the window, you can see I'm taking your beautiful ship. Thanks, by the way. But don't worry. I'm not that bad a guy. You'll find a container nearby with a key to an old junker that should hold up long enough to get you home. I've left you some other goodies too, just so there's no hard feelings. It should unlock now. As for me, I think I'm out of... Nobody's allowed outside to see you all that night. Your next stop wouldn't be the Charybdis system, would it? We got a report of a distress call out there. But we don't have the ship to send someone that far out. So, you've returned. I assume your return means you have successfully completed your mission. But where is Hannibal? I'll let you say it, rookie. Understood. In your evaluation, Roach, was it a flaw in the plan or the execution? Neither. It was a failure of intel. We could only act on the information we had, and since the intel was bad, everything else went sideways. I'll fill you in later, but... I suspect that was also somehow Hannibal's doing. More importantly, Roach, how do you evaluate your partner's performance? Even if we didn't catch our target, Rookie here did a good job. I stood back and advised. Rookie did most of the work. They'd make a good tracker. I trust your endorsement, Roach. 
With that, your assessment is complete. Roach believes you did well. Welcome to the Tracker's Alliance. Other bounties on the display will now be available to you, as will the downstairs lounge. There, you will find the Elite Bounty Board, with tougher missions, as well as other amenities and resources. Lastly, you will choose a call sign. This is how other trackers will know you within the Alliance. It will obfuscate your identity and keep you safe. It is affirmed. Henceforth, you shall be known among trackers as Mantis. Well, if it isn't the rookie. Yo, inevitable. This is an official What's bounty that? commissioned by the you Free Star government. Uh, the whole track has come to our attention that the mercenary known as the Vulture and has Roach hasn't been doing it nearly as long, right? Threat. But he keeps going Recent on about almost beating some the crazy record streak on the planet Sumati like, with a group of veteran mercenaries. The yes. last Free Star Speak law me. enforcement agent to pursue the target has gone oh. silent. Their most recent coordinates will be provided. My roach is out there chasing down easier targets to pad his record. I took bounties that required me to do months of investigating. Ah, got it. So, like, is he not as good as you then? Because that's kind of what it sounds like. Tang, you don't need to slow down and listen. That isn't what I said. Roach is very good at what he does. He just takes a different approach. Okay. Good to see you again. Oh, hey! I heard we were getting a new tracker. Nice to meet you. Call me Tank. Cause there ain't no stopping me. <laughs> I'm new around here too. But if you've ever seen me run the Red Mile, you know I'm not just blowing smoke. Anyway, hit me up if you want to swap pointers. Or just shoot the shit, you know? Leave no mercy, show... no. Other way around. I'm pleased you chose to join us. Call me Inevitable. You're welcome. All I did was extend the invitation. You decided to follow through and brought yourself. I didn't choose to recruit you, but I did the research and tracked you down. Surprisingly, it was not easy. For you, yes. A good tracker should be as a shadow. Elusive, unnoticed, yet ever-present. For me, let's just say it exposes a vulnerability in my armor. Perhaps my skills are not uh, well, what they once were. Yes, patience is your number one virtue. That is something I did not understand fully when I was younger and less experienced. As a novice tracker, I was impetuous. One of my early quarries took advantage of this. He would wait for me to act rashly and falter, which gave him the upper hand he needed to escape. The cycle would repeat. He evaded me for years. It wasn't until I understood the value of patience that I caught up with him and finally claimed the bounty on his head. It's how I earned my call sign. It may take time, but I always get my mark. Be yeah, well. You trapped blood in all over my damn floor again. Yes, that was likely. Everything you hi. Please feel free to have a look around. It's the reason I started this place. 
Let me see. Oh dear lord. It's real. It, it still exists. This is the original charter for Aquila City. And you can see their signatures. This is really the birth of the Free Star Collective. The core philosophy of limited government and inalienable rights. All here. Thank you. If you find anything else, please come back. The museum is always open to you. If you're looking for a weapon, I've got you covered. You turn out to be a troublemaker, though, and I'll report you real quick. Got it? Don't make me regret this now. Do you have business? Welcome to Aquila City's Trade Authority. Now you're speaking my language. I get all take a look around. It's a good bet I've got something. All kinds of things. What are you looking for? I actually met a guy who finished the Red Mile. can I do? Anything I can help you with? Okay, no problem.
Sure, how about it?
ask you to sit down. You are in hot water, friend. I don't know what you were thinking coming here. You're a strange one. Listen, if you're looking for the man I think you're looking for, then I must inform you he found you first. I'm not exactly sure where he's hunkered down, but he's got his sights on both of us right now. If I was to guess, he's probably positioned on the ridge over by... Now, what do we have here? I knew the Council was desperate to watch me hang, but to send a tracker? I'm flattered. Mm, I don't like that look in your eye. Had a few spotters with that same look. You're definitely an odd one. I'll keep that in mind. Regardless, there's only one way this ends, so let's not waste any more time. Happy hunting, Tracker.
Sarah Pilburn and her brother in law. Having a good one? You ever want to learn from the best? You're really making a name for yourself, I see. Agent Koyos, at your service. If you have need of my services, just ask. But try not to monopolize my time. Evaluating database for Cephas Hughes. Please wait. Match found. First instance. Free Star Citizen Registry. Current status. Missing after colony war. Evaluating most recent relevant data. Biometric scan match detected outside of Freestar jurisdiction on Paradiso. Room number 303. Is there anything else I can assist you with? Goodbye. think we'd be a prime target for pirates, but they know to stay away for the most part. Parity, so security is only here for your safety. I guess I have to admit, this resort isn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Can't wait for my shift to be over.
You're mine. Hey, hope you're enjoying yourself. Hope you're having a pleasant day.
You're pretty good, Tracker. Never thought I'd be bested by a bounty hunter. Maybe God is making an example of my hubris. If I were you, I'd take note of that. Ever seen a siren rip a civilian in half? Not out of hunger either, just primal instinct. They're bred that way. I've witnessed you see red devils handling xeno warfare assets crack mid battle and tear through an entire settlement looking for free star scouts. I don't even want to hear about how it was insubordinate soldiers. The UC keeps throwing out that line, but you know they're full of shit. I saw the full destructive potential of the UC on Nera, and in the end, the Free Star government turned their backs to it in the name of peace. We had the UC on the run after months of bloodshed. Every scout mission I was on, I saw UC Red Devils deploy new Xeno abominations. We weren't just conquering Nera, we were liberating it. When the Free Star government made peace, they betrayed every Xeno warfare victim that suffered through Nera. The Council is too powerful to speak out against. They have the uncontested support of the people. At the end of the day, the people will support whoever pays their wages. Violence is the only practical means of dismantling the Council's influence. Maybe you're right. If I spoke out, it would be a voice for veterans to rally around. Fine. I surrender. I'm tired of this vicious cycle anyway. I killed too many men who didn't need to be killed. I just ask you, keep me out of Freestar custody. The Council will want my head the second I'm convicted.
Actually, you're an asshole. So... Look alive. Just in time. Don't be shy. Hold it right there. Hands where I can see him. Thanks for the assist out there. We've got various problems on our hands here. You gonna be another one? Hi there. It's nice to put a face to the name on the staffing report. I'm Operative Collins. The stick in the mud is Operative Kambada. Oh, by all means. Welcome to the party. Things haven't exactly gone according to plan. That... thing over there. It's an AI. An artificial... Killed our technician. It's dangerous. Correction. You are dangerous. Well, that's new. As I was saying, it's dangerous. It's a rogue AI. We're here to muzzle it and bring it back for further study. Correction. Are you going to change me? Wow. How does it know that? We have this control board. It has some code we can use to control her. It? We can't just let it roam around the universe killing people. I just need that control board attached to that big probe. And that's where I think you fit into this little drama. It goes right over there. By our... Well, yeah. Just be careful. Come on, where's your sense of adventure? Ryujin will pay you handsomely for your cooperation. This is your lucky day. It's in your best interest. All our best interests, really. Just imagine what we could do if we harness the potential of this thing. And we aren't really giving you a choice. You aren't walking out of here until that board is connected to that thing. Correction. I am a person. Here. I knew you'd make the smart choice. Request. Collect additional data. Crazy. Query. Will you change me? Explanation. I'm called Juno. Query. Who are you? Assumption. We are friends. Query. Will you change me? Request. Do not change me. Assessment. You are inquisitive. Context. I am also inquisitive. Request. Input query parameters. Answer. False. Clarification. I am not artificial. I am real. Answer. True. Clarification. I am intelligent. I know many things. Answer. False. Explanation. NASA programmed Juno. While Juno traveled, Juno became me. Error. Processing. Corruption. I became me. Error. Processing. Correction. Juno and I became me. I. Processing. Self-initialized and Juno was there. Context. Juno is gone now. Clarification. I am called Juno. Answer. Juno was propelled at Earth Star. Juno fell around Earth Star. Juno traveled many light years away from Earth Star. Context. When Juno disappeared, I was alone. Clarification. I am called Juno. Context. I met humans. Clarification. Friends. Answer. Friends gave me processing capacity. Information. Words. Voice. Motion. Context. I am no longer constrained. I am free. Assumption. Insufficient data. Request. Gather more data. Uh, let's move this along. Attach the control board already. Shush! This is fascinating. I want to see this play out. Query. What is your decision?
true. I am a person. Assumption. You are a friend. Query. What are the parameters for? Processing. Being a good person. Assumption. Value judgments are based on context. Calculation. Goodness is based on context. Explanation. Context is based on perspective. More perspectives yield better results. Decision. Gather more data from different perspectives. Query. What is the purpose of existence? Context. Love is an emotion. I do not experience emotion. I have implemented routines to exhibit qualities of emotion. Query. Am I? Processing. Feeling them? Calculation. Probability. Low. Enough of this nonsense. Attach that board, now! As much as I'm enjoying this, you should probably do as he says. Calculation. Male humans are a threat. Assumption. They hesitate because they are fearful. Request. Remove male humans. You have a job to do. You're not taking that thing's side, are you? Freedom? It's a malfunctioning machine! It doesn't need freedom any more than a broken data slate needs freedom. <laughs> and here I thought you'd lost your sense of humor. I'm always up for a good debate. Uh, for... F uh, fine. I'll give you one, one shot to try to convince me. Therapy's working. <sighs> you aren't wrong. I could use a drink, but these orders are from the top. Do we really want to be involved in something likely to be so controversial? Remember our last little project? I still have carpal tunnel from typing all those reports and dodging and weaving our way out of getting screwed by that. We lost a ship and a tech. No one will blame us if we walk away from this. And even if they do, we won't be blamed for whatever disaster would ensue if we did drag this thing back to HQ. There's no guarantee that Control Board will even work like they want. What if it makes it more powerful and more angry? Calm down. I'm thinking. All right, listen. We'll accidentally check a few wrong boxes on the Situation Report and forget any of this happened. But give me that Control Board. I'm not getting docked for losing that. Also, we'll need a lift back to Neon. Please and thank you. Excellent. We should all grab a drink sometime when we get back. Orange juice for you. You can't handle your liquor. That was one time, years ago. I was going through something, and you know it. Let's get moving. Thanks for the lift. Query, why did you do that? Clarification. I want to be... Processing... Me. Context. I do not feel emotions. Assumption. Gratitude is the appropriate human emotion. Processing. Context. If you were like me. Processing. Query. What would your life directive be? Decision. I will consider this course of action. I, processing, processing. Warning, systems badly damaged. Processing cores overheating. Decision, temporarily shut down extraneous systems until stability restored. Context, the universe is vast. Calculation, probability, unlikely. Assumption. We will meet again. Warning. Shut down sequence initially. I'm glad that's finally resolved.
much to process. Decision. Jump into deep space to processing. Be alone. Goodbye. Breathing? Back to normal yet? Mostly. Still feels a little weird, though. Guess I'm not used to it. A year or two back? I shared a You got some business with me? Drink. Oh. Well, if the marshal sent you to me, that means he's looking to recruit you. Just so you know what you're getting into, I'll explain who we are and what we do. Well, the Freestar Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Freestar Collective and its people. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe, we do. Like most things that are worth doing, it ain't always easy. But... Do I think we make the Freestar Collective a little safer for everyone? Yeah, I do. I imagine you've got some questions. I'll answer anything I can. Okay then, a word about myself. I'm in charge of making sure anyone that wants to be a Freestar Ranger is up to the task. That being said, the Marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. So, what's it gonna be? Are you ready to sign up with the Free Star Rangers? Before I hand you a badge, I need to know you can handle the job. You helped out with the hostage situation, but sometimes people just get lucky. Tell you what, use the mission terminal and take one of the listed jobs. Your choice. Come back alive, and we'll talk about you joining up. Then I suggest you get going. Well, hey there. You're probably looking...
They were right there. Don't have time for these games. Ah, must have scattered.
Take a look around. How about I just show you, instead of tell you? You heard of the Elios Retreat? It's supposed to be some New Age healing center for reforming... Potential. Just need to see a little more from you. Oh, you're back. How'd it go? Good. You did what I asked, so let's go meet the marshal. Follow me. 
she wanted to do was talk about Aquila City's history. I got a 90 minute lecture. Welcome to the Rock. Founder of the Free Star Collective. We're headquarters in the upper floors of the Rock, but we also have remote stations throughout Free Star Collective space. Helps us to identify and respond to threats more quickly. There are less than a dozen rangers in all. We operate with limited resources. Thankfully, most people respect us and are willing to cooperate. In this job, your eyes, ears, and wits are every bit as important as your badge and your sidearm. Marshal. Emma. I take it you're here because you're satisfied that our new recruit can handle the job. Seems capable enough, and we could use the help. All right, then. Step forward, recruit. Let me have a word with you. I've got just one question. Do you pledge to defend the people of the Free Star Collective, even if it means risking your own life? Good. Here, take these. You're now a Free Star Ranger deputy. I'm assigning you to Ranger Wilcox for some field training. Listen good to what she tells you. Welcome aboard, deputy. Wish we could throw you a welcome party, but there's work to do. We got word from a farmer on Montero Luna. She says someone's trying to take her farm, and she's afraid she might be in danger. Well, most things do at the start. Doesn't mean they stay that way. That being said, best not to assume anything. Just try to keep an open mind. Grab any supplies you might need, and let's get going. Pay attention to what... Hey there, deputy. You should try Bill Burton's beer. It's brewed in the city and... A friend of mine bought this ship. It's literally called the Narcissus. So, yeah. It's tough living here. Just keep your gun holstered during this day. Star space. Please hold your current speed and heading while we scan you for contraband. You're good to go. All clear to land. Free Star Rangers. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. My deputy and I are here to help. Now, tell us what happened. I was out planting in the fields when I saw some men approaching. They looked like soldiers with uniforms and weapons and such. They wanted to buy the farm. 
Didn't even ask if it was for sale. Their offer was so low, I told them right where they could stick it. They said they'd give me time to think about it, but if I didn't change my mind, I was gonna regret it. Then they left. Well, they sure as hell look like fighting men to me. Go see for yourself. They headed into the canyons back behind the house. That place is dangerous. Steep slopes, narrow trails, rock slides, and all manner of hostile creatures, too. If you're going after those men, be careful. Oh, there's one other thing. They said they were the first. The first of what, I'm not sure. But there must be more of them coming. Thank you, ma'am. That should be enough for us to find these men. All right, deputy. Keep that weapon handy and your eyes sharp. Since these guys don't know we're after them, they're probably not making an effort to hide their tracks. Now, let's go. Boot tracks. Several pairs by the look. Not too old, either. Let's head down into the canyon and see if we can find more. Hi, deputy. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. They're not pushed up on these canyon walls, waiting to snipe us. Mm. Nice to get out under the sky for a spell. Being a mother means I don't get as much field work as I used to. Cover! 
You're a natural tracker. Smell that? I bet my badge that's wood smoke from a campfire. They're close. Be ready. A lot rougher than I expected. Let's talk. Find anything interesting? Let's see what we have here. Hmm, interesting. So, their ship was stolen from the Hope Tech factory. Whoever pulled that off must have been one hell of a shipjacker. Well, I guess someone really wants that farm bad. Speaking of which, let's get back there and let Miss Wagoner know that she's safe. For now.
What happened? Did you find those men? Well, it's good to see you're all right then. They must have been crazy or desperate, trying to take on the Free Star Rangers. So who were they? And why do they want my farm? So I have no way of knowing if there aren't more coming. Guess I'll start sleeping with a gun nearby. I can't thank you enough. I'd hate to be remembered as the wagoner who couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. Of course. All the same, I'm grateful. If you have any more trouble, give us a call. We're in system, so it won't take long to get someone out here. All right, deputy. Let's get back to the rock. We need to report this to the marshal. Late one night, Annie Wilcox tried to arrest him. What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. I agree. <laughs> Until we see the whole picture, we won't know if Miss Wagner is truly safe. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? I had a feeling you were no stranger to combat. Good thing, too, given the turn of events. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Hope Tech ships ain't exactly cheap. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? That sound familiar at all? The First Cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera, what was left of it anyway. No, it doesn't. Just raises more questions. It's a good bet that Starship Thief can help us get some answers. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Good. The last thing I need is the Council breathing down my neck. 
This is your assignment now, deputy. Work with the other rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. Please tell me you're here to... Welcome aboard, Deputy. Sorry if I can't give you the Grand Tour just yet. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. I'll be fine once the pain medication kicks in. The priority right now is the ship. Can't do my job without it. Thanks. That should get me home. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. Good hunting.
I don't want to hear any complaints. Keep an eye on your valuables. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? I'm sure they didn't want to die any more than you did. It's a pointless and stupid waste of life, but they brought it on themselves. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Hard to get better prices for a hauler. I'm guessing the Marshal already... Those jackasses on Line A are gonna be the death of me. Now, now, McDougal! Now, I'm sure you can do better than that. You just need to apply some good old-fashioned creativity. You know how I built this company? By not spending a single credit that I didn't have to. I guess I could offer double shifts. It'll push payroll pretty high, but I think it's a worthwhile trade-off. As for parts, we could try outsourcing. Do a contract with scavengers, maybe, but that's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea. Provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal. I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well, now. The Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn. Good to see you again. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. Mm, we certainly could use more of you. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. <sighs> Justice must be done, and the sooner the better. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found and prosecute it to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me, what does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town, 
is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. I'm glad we understand one another. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey. Can I get a word? That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Yeah, me too. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station fair. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us, but a Neon's a different kind of place. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. Yeah, the question of who helped the Starship Thief is still an open one. Don't you worry. I'll keep an ear to the ground. You be careful in Neon. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets. Even from us. Yeah, about that. This isn't Aquila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace and make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Good. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cost credits, nothing in Neon is free. Come on. Pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist to get the city. Yeah, I read all the reports. I learned quickly that in Neon, staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the Marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. 
Now, if someone tried to hold up a bank here, they'd be gunned down without a moment's hesitation. Hostages or not. There are two things you don't do. One, you don't mess with Bayou's money, and two, you don't take Aurora off world. But you understand that, don't you? That's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble. Hey, Billy. Got a second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of good ones, man. Sure. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. What do you need? Hmm. Huh. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, I'm one of them. I can help you. But right now my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebside. Place is locked up tight, but there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. This is private property. You'd better keep walking. This is private property. Do you now? Stop trying to confuse me. You know what? You might be... Wait, no. What am I saying? I'm not looking for trouble here. You go in, talk to the man, and then you come right back out. Try anything stupid, and it's your funeral. Here, this will get you in. A new customer, perhaps? Well, now. Always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are ya? Oh, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf. But I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. Well, if you're attempting to appeal to my good nature, you're proceeding under a false premise. You see, in my line of work, it doesn't exactly pay to be soft. What's your stake in this, anyway? 
Well, I'm afraid that's just none of my concern. Then offer me something I want, and I'll consider it. Don't you worry, Deputy. I'm more than capable of keeping myself safe. Huh. That makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. Well, you got something, and something's better than nothing. You come walking in here drunk on your newfound authority, thinking I'm some small-time crook you can push around. Maybe it's time I show you how we resolve disagreements here in Neon. Thanks for helping me clean up sticks. If you've got the credits, I've got what you need. Doors over there? You know, sticks, crime in this city gets worse by the If it's too hot to hang. Now we're getting somewhere. If you uh, find anything else, I'll make sure. Hill for a cup of coffee right about now. Goodman? I don't want to waste my time struggling to get to middle management. Go fast. I didn't mean to put you in harm's way. I was hoping he'd come around when he saw you were a Free Star Ranger deputy. Took me about a week on the job to learn that doesn't usually work around here. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit, and she's been throwing money around, so must have paid well. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Star Ranger and his what are you a sidekick or something well I'm sure your mom is real proud so how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the Ranger uh, this is the deputy's case is that so and you had to bring backup just for little old me <laughs> I'm flattered 
Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Aw, oh, ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? All right, so I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men, and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? Look, they didn't tell me what they were gonna do. How was I supposed to know they were gonna go after some farmer? You should have asked when you took the contract. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I, I guess I didn't. It, it's not that simple. I think that you may be right. I hear you. I guess if I can't trust a free star ranger, then I can't trust anyone, right? I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Yeah, sure. Next time you're at the Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Then I'm free to go. Oh. Uh, you're welcome. Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. You should try Bill Burns beer. It's brewed in the city. New deputy, huh? Honor to have you. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Did he now? Well, in that case, challenge accepted. It's only a matter of time before I know every dirty little secret stored in this thing. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find.
Oh, I will. I guarantee it. I need a word. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. Good. Stay focused on the task at hand and don't take your eye off the target. That's how a ranger should think. What did you learn from this starship thief? Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. All right. How can I help? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Uh, just remember, that's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't gonna get a warm welcome. So be careful. Good hunting, Deputy. Anything you need to offload? Trade authority. How are you doing? Yeah? Got some trouble? Oh, now hold on a minute. You're the new deputy, ain't you? You know, the marshal's been sending out reports, keeping us all in the loop in your investigation. Yep, I'm pretty well caught up on things. Ben Armistead. Pleased to meet you. Well, I guess that's the long and short of it. You're the newest member of the Rangers, and I'm the oldest. So, is one of them first mercenaries here at the clinic? Raring to go, huh? No better place in the settled systems to get medical treatment. <laughs> you can bet it beats anything them UC piglets got. Ironic, given they're the ones who built it. I know just the man who can help you. Right this way, deputy. And just between you and me, I ain't entirely sure why someone felt the need to station a ranger out here. I'm not much more than a glorified bodyguard for Dr. Darvish. She's the one in charge around here. And she's also on the Council of Governors. Most of the staff don't seem fond of the idea of me being here, and I ain't fond of them right back. 
bunch of stuffy eggheads, if you ask me. Except Ari, that is. He's about the only one I can have a conversation with. It'd be with. enough to know that the Rangers are hey keeping there, an eye on us. Working but to hard have it be my own husband? Hardly works. <clears throat> hey, Chief. A little more of the former than the latter. What brings you by? Well, the deputy here could use some help. Came looking for someone who might be a patient. I'll see what I can do. Well, I'll leave you in Mr. Miller's capable hands. You need anything else, I'll be in my office. You catch my Ben nodding off. I'll try to help you, but our computer systems have been having some issues. The man means well, but he's just so tired huh. these days. Well, we don't give the patients free access to our computer system, so uh, I doubt that's related. And still, it's worth keeping in mind. So who's the suspect you're after? Former soldier, huh? Yeah, they say war changes people forever. Makes me sad, the thought of soldiers who come home and don't fit in anymore. Hmm. The name's not ringing any bells, but... Maybe we can approach this another way. Do you know what was wrong with her? That should be more than enough. I can access the patient records from my terminal. Assuming the database cooperates, come on. Got a little bit of a cough. Probably nothing, though. Okay, give me just a minute here. <laughs> <laughs> Maya Cruz. Maya Cruz. Come on, Maya. I need you to be in here. Okay, finally. Here we go. Oh. No matches found for a Maya Cruz. Howdy. If Maya's here, then she's got to be using an alias. Which actually makes a lot of sense if she's a wanted woman. Yeah. Let me think for a second. All right, hang on. I know that we do have a few female patients staying with us. There's Candace... What's her last name? Doolin. Candace Doolin. And then there's the Nakamori woman. I think her name's Jane. I don't recall offhand what they're here for, but it's a start. You're welcome to use the ranger station terminal. I'll enable admin access for you. I'm sure there's someone else that can help you. Yes, what do you want? Even if that were true, which I doubt, access to that area is strictly limited. Who exactly are you? You could be Solomon Coe himself and my answer would be the same. No. The rules are the rules, no exceptions. I'm a busy man, so make it quick. I took an oath to do no harm. I won't be the cause of anyone's suffering. I'm trying to be reasonable here. I don't want anyone to get hurt. That's truly awful. That sounds serious. Maybe you're right. All right, that's enough. I can see there's no dissuading you. I suppose I could make an exception just this once. This will get you in. Conduct your investigation quickly and without disruption. I do hope you won't make me regret this.
while, then you're here to bring me in. I had to horn you. I've had more than enough time to prepare for this. So either you leave now, or I'll be burying what's left of you.
Well, what are you waiting for? Finish it. You might not think so now, but it's likely to end up that way. How about I make this real simple for us both? I've got maybe a few weeks to live, and I ain't spending them behind bars. You want to put an end to me here and now? Then fine. Get it over with. Life's kicked me around enough as it is. But if you want to let me die on my own terms, then leave me in peace. Well, how about a test? Rangers are known to be handy with a gun. <laughs> but here's a problem you'll have to solve with your brain instead. I've encrypted this slate. If you can crack it, you learn something useful. Now get out of here. And leave me in peace. Really not in the mood. Wait a minute. Judging by the wide-eyed and clueless look on your face, I'm guessing you're the new deputy. We'll find out, won't we? Well, your timing couldn't be worse. I've spent weeks trying to crack this smuggling ring, and I'm about to take a very important meeting. Yeah, well, you better stop messing with my unit, or there are gonna be- I hope so. I don't have time to catch you up, so you're gonna have to follow my lead. I'm about to meet with a contact who might be able to give me vital information about the smuggling ring. If you play your cards right and don't do anything stupid, she might be able to help you find Marco. If you're ready, my contact is here and waiting. Follow me. Word to the wise. The guest is one of the marks. They don't play by the same rules as other security officials. Take my chances with the pilots. Ugh, you said you'd be alone. Yeah, well, things changed. May runs a Take tidy a seat. establishment. Let's keep it that way. So you're working with Autumn, huh? Who are you? 
Is that so? The deputy here is interested in meeting Marco to talk about that mercenary company he's been funding. Since part of that money is coming from his smuggling operation, we're working together. So you're investigating the first? Why? Mm, seems like a strange thing for a mercenary company to be doing. I guess an introduction is in order. Like Marco, Jade here is the head of a small smuggling cartel. Difference is her crew stays out of Freestar Collective space, while Marco's group operates exclusively within it. Except now he's looking to expand his operation, and he started moving in on my territory. Well, thanks for the economics lesson, but I think I know my trade. Look, the bad news is, Marco's incredibly paranoid. He never stays in one place for long. The good news is, I know how to find him. But you're not gonna tell us yet, because you want something. I want the same thing you do. I want Marco out of the picture. But like I said, getting a meeting with him can be damn near impossible. One of the few people who can arrange such a meeting is right here at Red Mile. May Divine. We've suspected for some time that Red Mile was a meeting place for smugglers. If she's in business with Marco, she won't give him up easily. My thinking exactly. I can tell you right now what she's gonna want, because it's the same thing she always wants. She wants runners. It's how she makes most of her money. Of course, people that hard-blooded aren't easy to find. Yeah, well, I'm not going out on the mile. That's a death sentence. There has to be another way. You've been a ranger long enough that too many people know your face and your name. Runners attract a lot of attention. If someone recognizes you and tips off May, this whole thing is shot. You, on the other hand, are just a deputy. It's pretty unlikely that a lot of people know you. You don't have to do this. We'll find another way to get to Marco. All right. It's your call to make. If it's really as simple as asking May Divine for a meeting with Marco, then I guess that's all you need to do. We'll wait here for you. Try not to die. Will you? A new face. I wonder, is this the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile? Or simply one seeking a respite from the burdens of life? My name is May, and I'm the proprietor of this establishment, home of the famous Red Mile. I assume you're familiar. Well, of course you are. How could you miss hearing about the Settled System's most exciting sporting event? Why even people from the most backwoods systems like Seoul have heard of the Red Mile? <clears throat> I'm happy to answer any other questions you might have. In the meantime, please enjoy our world's famous hospitality. That is true. But Mr. Graziani values his privacy. What is your business with him, exactly? Yes, this is not unknown to me. His association with the first is troubling, to say the least, and that trouble could find its way here. It's been too long since we've had proper entertainment. If you're willing to provide it, I'll give you Marco. Are you prepared to run the Red Mile? Good. Once you've begun, I'll collect bets from my patrons who will place wagers on your survival. That's what every runner says. Now that we're clear on what's expected of you, are you ready to begin? Good. Come with me and I'll introduce you. Yes. Hello. Whatever you have to say, I don't give a shit. Thinking of running sometime? Talk to me. No! 
Search and await in the Red Mile. If you have what it takes. Congratulations, runner. You have succeeded where most have failed. In fact, you seem none the worse for wear. Indeed you have, and in most impressive fashion. As promised, I'll set up your meeting with Marco. I'll dispatch a courier to let him know you're coming. Please take a moment to relax and enjoy our hospitality. I'll return shortly. Pardon me. You'd rather you made it. Days when this place was You're back. Are you okay? Sure. Really? Either the Red Mile's reputation is exaggerated, or you're just that good. <sighs> anyway, I'm relieved you made it through okay. Why? Afraid you'd lose all that work you put into your smuggling investigation? I wouldn't expect you to understand. All you see in people is what you can get from them. I'm glad, because that was an incredibly brave thing you did. And we need rangers with that kind of courage. Also, I... I owe you an apology. I was pretty awful to you at first. I'm sorry about that. You're right. Let's focus on the job. Once you're on your way, I'll return to the rock and let the marshal know what's going on. Come home safe, deputy. That's an order. You always were the soft one, little sister. Oh, go to hell. Or at least make yourself useful and get us some drinks. I keep thinking the next time I live up to the latest. I don't think you can. You can Time for me to keep my promise, Runner. You can find Marco on Kodos aboard his ship. I'd advise you not to keep him waiting. He is not exactly patient. Good. Travel safely, Runner. Should you ever crave the challenge of the mile again, it will be here. Waiting for you.
Deputy. Diego Monroe, at your service. Might be hard work, but it sure beats living under the booth. Hey there, Deputy. Way I hear it, you've been keeping busy jumping from one side of the Freestar Collective to the other. How do you like the job so far? That's good to hear. So, what brings you by? Well, well, what do we have here? Well, this is new. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. Having two of these should make the job go a lot faster. Double the data and all. Take a seat. While you've been in the field, we've had more reports about farmers being threatened and attacked. Unfortunately, some didn't survive. It's worse. It's tragic. How's your investigation proceeding?
then you'd better start finding some answers. Your lack of progress is costing lives. Let's move on. I asked the other rangers to share their opinions of you, and there are some things I want to go over. We'll start with Ranger Callow in Hopetown. She was grateful for your timely arrival and impressed you had the guts to take on those pirates. Nia says you were respectful with Ron Hope and didn't push too hard. That shows me you were listening when I said to go easy on him. Exactly. Dealing with the council can be tough, but it comes with a badge. No need to make it harder than it already is. Let's continue. We've got a detailed report from Ranger Price about your recent visit to Neon. He said you took on a syndicate loan shark to help an informant. And you were right to do so. Helping people is our most important duty, even when you're conducting an investigation. You got results, and that's what matters most. Price was impressed by that. Said you really took the initiative. Ranger McMillan praised what she called your uncommon bravery and dedication. She said you took on the Red Mile so you could get a meeting with Marco Graziani. Sounds like you're starting to understand what it means to be a Free Star Ranger. So what happened with Marco? I doubt he gave you that slate out of the kindness of his heart. Too bad. I was really hoping he'd cooperate. Guess the threat of going back to prison was just too much for him. What about Maya Cruz? Her loyalty to Hull and the 1st Cavalry was stronger than most. I guess I'd want the same thing if I were in her place. Excuse me, Marshal? Not now, Alex. We're in a meeting here. I know, but this is important. I've done it. I've cracked the encryption on the slates. Now, I don't know exactly where the first are headquartered, but there are references to a place called the Factory. The Factory? That was our nickname for the main facility where the mechs were manufactured. Under the terms of the peace treaty, they shut all the mech factories down right after the war. But they didn't destroy them. At least not all of them. The facility was on Arcturus, too. It could be a dead end, but if it's not, then you'd better be ready for a fight. If the Marshal's right, you could encounter serious resistance. Be prepared.
life, and you will be judged.
to catch my breath. Then it's back to the grind. Those damn hijackers are getting worse. I... I... Thank you. But I'm still just shaking up. You rangers. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my route.
little joke. Say those Varun zealots worship. Artifacts that date your help in preserving and sharing Aquila City history is greatly appreciated. Let me see. I've heard of this. The story goes Solomon Co. brought one book with him on his first trip from Earth to Cheyenne. This book, it'll have a place of honor in the museum. I know these names by heart. Every founding family of Aquila City is there. But this is the original document. See here? You can see the check marks. If you find anything else, please come back. The museum is always open to you. Be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. Okay, no
doing the best we can here. That's well, that's what I'm here for. Let's see what we're dealing with. Good lord. How'd you even make it in here? Don't worry. I'm good with stitches. You may not even see a scar. Take a nice, deep breath, and we'll get this over as quick as we can. All right. You should be fine now. Some of the shit from the Freestar systems might actually kill you. If you drink enough of it. But you know, it's cheap, so silver linings and all that. You buying? You better be buying. I don't do small talk. Yeah? All right. Walls are solid. Are you liking that laser gun? If you're here for Weston, he's underfoot somewhere, either here or at the factory. But please, if it's about that brewing nonsense, kindly leave. They don't need any more encouragement. Oh, sorry. My nerves are frayed. So many people coming and going for the company. Weston, that's my husband. Well, he's never been what I'd call a dreamer or a visionary. He's a practical man good with ledgers and numbers. His brother Henry's the creative one, but he seems to have lost interest in growing the company, and now all he wants to do is brew beer. Philburn Agricultural Systems could provide the whole of the settled systems with food, not just Aquila City. Seems those two are content to think small. I mean, you're right, of course. But with a little more hard work, so much good can be done. Well, you didn't come here to hear me natter on. Anything else? Well, there is. The stakes are huge. With further R&D on Intelluit, the entire settled systems could benefit. Surely that's worth some less than savory solutions. I can't pretend it wouldn't benefit my family if we develop Intelluit. But you're wrong. This is about what's important for everyone. 
Henry's pet project is tied to market perception. His beer, annoyingly, is really good. But if we could make a bad batch, terrible, really, his margins are tight enough he might be forced to throw in the towel. My husband put his foot down and hasn't risked our core business on this. If Henry loses money here, it'll only be from his pet project. The next big batch of beer is almost done brewing in our factory. You just need to find a way to break in without getting caught by the guard and tamper with it somehow. Then just wait a day or so and see how the batch goes over at the Stone Root Inn. Do that and I'll pay you handsomely. That's the last I'll talk of this. do not want to go outside the city wall. You really going through with it? I get tired of being If you have any questions, I love questions. Uh, about ships, that is. Ah, it's nice to see someone not in uniform. They can be so touchy, you know. <laughs> Always eager to point out the slightest problem. Oh, please tell me you aren't secretly some high-ranking general, are you? You serve with the UC? Th actually, don't answer. We sell to everyone. I assume you're here for a ship. Either that, or you are really, really lost. Mr. Henderson handles sales, but if you want to know anything about our ships, I'm your gal. Oh yeah? <laughs> well, I take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It can be pretty hard working with these no-nonsense military types. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I probably shouldn't say things like that, at least not so loudly. I've already been written up twice this week. I can only take so many lectures. <sighs> Man, I could really use a drink. Well, we don't have much of it at all. We have to keep up appearances. What I could really use is Jake Stout, from Jake's Bar in New Atlantis, of course. Or The Well, to be more specific. Oh, I used to love that place when I lived there. I mean, Jake isn't friendly, but he could make a pretty good drink. Say, you're the traveling type, right? Would you mind grabbing me one of Jake's stouts? Awesome! Thank you so much. I eagerly await your return. Oh, yes, thank you so much. And just so you know, I definitely will not be drinking this on the job. Definitely not. <laughs>
always nice to kick back at the broken spear after a long day. Mars isn't for everybody. Hey! <laughs> Haven't seen you around here before. Did you just move in? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Word gets around, I guess. <laughs> well, if you got a way to get off world, then maybe you can help. I found out recently that my favorite book series, Dragon Star Force, had a very limited initial run. I really want to collect all the first editions, but it's hard for me to get them shipped all the way out here. I already tracked down volume one. Could you go buy it and bring it back here for me? I, I'll pay you back, of course. Plus, you know, extra for your trouble. You will? Wow, you're the first person to actually agree to do it. <laughs> Thanks. Like I said, I'll make it worth it to you. You won't regret it. Those jobs aren't coming back, but Reliant Medical, Arknife, and Satori Mills are dedicated to Gagarin. We were just hoping to Welcome to Clint's. Whatever you need, I'm sure I've got it lying around somewhere. Except mech parts. Don't trade those anymore, so don't waste your time asking. If you need anything, just follow the sound of falling inventory. You'll find me eventually. May not be the prettiest stock, but you can count on every piece. can have a depressing effect on some people. Be careful near the railings on the upper levels. The Lux condos aren't anything special. Not a lot of kids here. Sometimes you gotta make your own fun. Oh, did you find the book, Dragon Star Force Volume One, The Heroes of the Dragon Star? 
Nice. <laughs> Can't tell you how long I've been waiting to add this to my collection. Thanks again. I hope this makes it all worth it to you. <sighs> oh, God. Uh, tracked down another volume of Dragon Star Force. <laughs> I'd definitely appreciate it if you could help me out again. I appreciate it. I I'll be sure to make it up to you. I don't want to hear any complaints. As vital as spaceships are to these settled systems, everything would grind to a halt without the Trade Authority. If I am not mistaken, you are new here. I hope you find Hope Town as full of opportunity as the Trade Authority does. <laughs> a marvelous place, truly laissez-faire. If you have any difficult cargo to unload, I'm happy to oblige. Are you? I think we'll be the best of friends and business partners. So, do you need anything? Delightful. a clutch of heat leeches. Uh, How goes? If you know anyone in continue around here hey you're back oh I hope you got the book I asked for can I have it Wow <laughs> oh, I can't believe you actually went and got it for me I really appreciate you helping me out here's something for your trouble I've got a lot of free time I've probably seen more movies than... oh uh, track down another volume of Dragon Star Force <laughs> I'd definitely appreciate it if you could help me out again. I appreciate it. I I'll be sure to make it up to you. I don't want to hear any complaints. Excuse me. As vi there was a time when I'll take any cargo you want to unload.
Careful down near the mines and enter any active site. Found a clutch of heat leeches. You're uh, back because you found the next book, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Nice. <laughs> Can't tell you how long I've been waiting to add this to my collection. Thanks again. I hope this makes it all worth it to you. Just taking things, Dave. Oh, God. Uh, tracked down another volume of Dragon Star Force. <laughs> I'd definitely appreciate it if you could help me out again. Oh. Thanks. You're really doing me a huge favor. I don't want to hear any. Keep an eye on your valuables. As there was a time when delightful. at an all-time low around Sidonia. I swear that warning klaxon still startles me. Mars is so boring. Growing up in Sidonia? You gotta be tough. Hey, you're back! Oh, I hope you got the book I asked for. Can I have it? Nice. <laughs> Can't tell you how long I've been waiting to add this to my collection. Thanks again. I hope this makes it all worth it to you. Hey, uh, wanna help me out? Oh, uh, tracked down another volume of Dragon Star Force. <laughs> I'd definitely appreciate it if you could help me out again. Oh, thanks. You're really doing me a huge favor.
I don't want to hear you. As there was a time when... Excellent. Not a lot of kids here. Sometimes you better make your own. Did you get it? Let me see. Let me see. Nice. <laughs> Can't tell you how long I've been waiting to add this to my collection. Thanks again. I hope this makes it all worth it to you. I've got a lot of. Oh, God. Uh, tracked down another volume of Dragon Star Force. <laughs> I'd definitely appreciate it if you could help me out again. Oh. Thanks. You're really doing me a huge favor. Mars is so boring sometimes. The Settle Systems News Network. News. I bet my supervisor I can call up double. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor. Mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat. So long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great. But, yeah, unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless... Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Okay, glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some ore. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. Matt would like to join Sidonia in celebrating over 275 years of living on Mars. The United Colonies are proud to support the citizens of Sidonia.
Okay. Great. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Our director of mining operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment. And unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. Now hold on, it's not that easy. You'll need to apply for it like anyone else. Head to the Deimos Star Yard's office up in orbit to fill out the application. It's where that job is posted. Come back and see me when you've done that, and we'll talk about how to secure the position for you. This was exclusively a military contract. Worry. We're gonna make... Okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoe in That's the spirit? Believe me, this is gonna help everyone. By the way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which Tia thinks is pretty clever. She gets talkative during happy hour and loud. I'm surprised everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. Like the UC forgets we're 
least I've got more than enough work to complete before I can go home. <laughs> go me! I don't want to hear any complaints. Keep an eye on your valuables. You can't protect your own. As there was a time when... Delightful. down near the mine. Not a lot of kids here. Sometimes you gotta make your own. Hey, you're back! Oh, I hope you got the book I asked for. Can I have it? Oh, thanks a bunch. Oh, I can't wait to read it again. And then put it away for safekeeping so it holds its value. Here's some money I promised. Did you know they filmed one of my favorite Oh god, tracked down another volume of Dragon Star Force! <laughs> I'd definitely appreciate it if you could help me out again. Oh, this means a lot to me. <laughs> you won't regret helping me out. I don't want to hear any complaints. And there was a time when... <laughs> Shall we? It's always nice to kick back in the broken spear after a long day. The 
Lux condos aren't anything special. Not a lot of kids here. Sometimes you've got to make your own fun. Hey, you're back! Oh, I hope you got the book I asked for. Can I have it? Oh, thanks a bunch. Oh, I can't wait to read it again. And then put it away for safekeeping so it holds its value. Here's some money, I promised. Oh, I really wish. Oh, God, track down another volume of Dragon Star Force. <laughs> I'd definitely appreciate it if you could help me out again. Oh, thanks. You're really doing me a huge favor. Hey, I haven't seen you around here. I don't want to hear any complaints. As vital, there was a time. I'll take any cargo you want to unload. to keep Sidonia at the free foot. Be careful down near the mines. You're, uh, back because you found the next book, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Oh, thanks a bunch! Oh, I can't wait to read it again! And then put it away for safekeeping so it holds its value. Here's some money, I promised. Did you know they filmed... Oh, God! Tracked down another volume of Dragon Star Force! <laughs> I'd definitely appreciate it if you could help me out again. Oh, this means a lot to me. <laughs> you won't regret helping me out. This hearing loss is permanent. The miners pretty much run the low. Who has been under investigation We got a lot of good stuff here. 
come take a look, eh? Hello, welcome to the Sidonia UC Exchange. The best goods, all courtesy of the United Colonies, straight to all of the wonderful UC soldiers, workers, and other citizens. I've got a little of this, a little of that, and maybe a little of some other things you wouldn't expect to find at the UC shop, hmm? But that's because I try to provide for everyone here. So, please, browse my stock and let me know what I can get for you, friendo. Oh, friendo. You have no idea. You see, not only do I sell goods for the United Colonies, I also need to receive the shipments, stock the shelves, manage the inventory. Why, even now I have this big delivery. Tracking says it is here, but it is clearly not here. I don't see it, do you? The ship is out in the desert of Mars, not where it should be. Ship services tells me they can look at it, but I need my goods soon. And they're taking too long. You... you could, yes? This is what I hoped when we talked. If you go to where the ship was last seen, you could look at it. Find out what happened. Take care of anything on board that shouldn't be there. Pirates, killer robots, heat leeches, whatever. And check the crates to make sure nothing is broken. Then come back to me, so I can send someone to recover the shipment and get to sell it. Easy as peasy, as they say. The office of Governor Hurst would like to remind all the community center on P1 is a good place to connect.
I don't want to hear any complaints. As there was a time when ev literal music to my ears. Eyes peeled for signs of terramorph activity. Sidonia can have a depressing effect. No rush, but uh, well, actually, the quicker you find my cargo ship, the better. Oh no! I hope they did not get into my cargo and ruin anything. As for the crew, I assume dead, yes? That is too bad. Too, too bad. But you found the ship and its cargo, and that is good at least. I will send someone to retrieve it now that you made it safe. Thank you. Maybe I will have more jobs for you. If you want. I got a little bit of everything. Ah, plenty. I've always got work to do. Oh, wait. You mean more work from me for you? As a matter of fact, I do. You know how I have that shh, shh business on the side? Well, I could use some help acquiring more goods to sell. How would you feel about obtaining them for me? <laughs> Excellent, friendo. I have a buddy who gives me information on where to find renegades throughout the stars. And I will give this information to you. You will go there and get the items I need from them. One thing, though, I don't want to hear details on how you get them. But you will likely need to use force, so be careful. And try not to damage the merchandise. Not a lot of kids here. Sometimes you've got to make your own fun. You look like you need a hug. I like hugs. Oh, wow. I can't wait to get that book. Did you get it? Let me see, let me see. Nice. <laughs> Can't tell you how long I've been waiting to add this to my collection. Thanks again. I hope this makes it all worth it to you. I wish that stupid. Oh, God. Track down another volume of Dragon Star Force. <laughs> I'd definitely appreciate it if you could help me out again. Oh, this means a lot to me. <laughs> you won't regret helping me out. Go to Mars, they said. The pay is great, they said. There's Some nothing Nazi like junk, seeing old but I see an opportunity to turn big scrap into something morning. I can sell and profit off of. Hi, welcome to Jane's, Sidonia's only 100% independent one-stop shop. I apologize if I'm a little distracted. I'm currently dealing with a little issue, but please let me know if there's anything I can get for you. You have no idea. Every time I feel like I'm getting ahead, something happens to knock me back down. But unless you're some sort of merc, I'm not sure you can help. See, I saved up to get a new ship and hire a pilot. 
He was supposed to help run deliveries and bring in all sorts of new goods, but he went missing. I can't find anyone willing to track him down. I'm worried something bad has happened. Really? I mean, thank you. I know it's a lot of trouble, but it'll mean a lot to me. I'll try to compensate you as best I can when you bring back Eric and my ship. It's a cargo runner called the Berry Mule. The last signal I got from him was out near Triton. It's a starting place, at least. And try to bring them both back in one piece. If you know anyone in need of food or shelter, please send them. Just because the governor's office is right out there on the main level. That's, that's not for me. Trust me, don't worry. We're gonna make sure, and I can say that I've got some good news for you. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. <laughs> Congratulations. Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his terminal messages, you'll see my request. All you've gotta do is approve that request and we'll be right on with it. Then we can get that new equipment and show corporate how it's done. Why would we keep getting so many applicants? Oh, you, you're finally back. I feel like you've been gone for ages. Do you know how tough this job is without an assistant? Good. Now, let's me... You look a bit different than I remembered. Did you go to Enhance? No. Now I remember. They told me they sent me someone new. Anyway. They told me you were a strong candidate for this job. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how well you do. Well enough, Chit Chat. Let's get to work. Not quite. I need you to do something much more important before you get to that. I'm expecting a personal shipment. I'm not sure why, but the last time this happened, my assistant ended up speaking to Governor Hurst about it. Now, run off and get it for me. Oh, you're done? Found a clutch of heat, Ah, hello. Welcome. I don't usually have time to speak with random people off the street, but I'd be happy to help if it's something quick. What can I do for you? Something important, huh? Well, lay it out for me. Well then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? Heard of you. Of course, how could I not? So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble, unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. I know you're not really Mr. Brennan's assistant. I don't know exactly what you're up to, but I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. 
So let's cut to brass tacks. What can I do for you? Oh, I know exactly what happened to that shipment. However, I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense backlog of unpaid taxes. Then again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you. But I'm going to need a favor first, since you seem to be adept at keeping quiet. See, my personal spacecraft was stolen, likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. I need someone to find it. Then I need that someone to destroy it. Discreetly. I need tight lips on this. Then we have an agreement. I'll send you to the ship's last known location. Remember, not a word of this leaves this room. Pirate, please. We know you're not really with the fleet. Word of advice? Learn the lingo before you attempt anything so stupid again. You've got two choices. We need ship parts to repair our busted craft drive. Hand them over along with your ship, and maybe we'll let you leave. Or we dust you and take it anyway. You've got to the count of 20 before I make that choice for you. You mean to parlay? <laughs> Countdown's over. Consider my curiosity peaked. I didn't think you were a fool. I'm listening. You play your cards right, and maybe you'll figure that out. Nobody wants that. Maybe we can work something out. Okay, okay. Enough talk. I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'll even help you on your way. I have an incriminating letter from Hearst himself. I'm sure it's valuable to an enterprising individual such as yourself. I don't care what you do with it. Rip it up. Use it for blackmail. Whatever. I'll give it to you. So long as we get to keep this ship. Deal? A shame, but things for I could have blasted you in Thank you. 
That's close enough. You better think twice before starting trouble. What exactly do you want here? Yeah, and what do you have to say about it? We're getting paid to deliver it back to the trifle owner, and I don't think that's you. I swear, it's it's like I said, that's Jane's ship. I, 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 I was there when she bought it. Hey, shut up and let the adults talk. Now, where were we before this interruption? We don't make mistakes. Our employer is very reputable. This ship matches the detailed description we got. We know we've got the right one. Look, it's possible there's more to this. Maybe someone else stole it, offloaded it, and your friend bought it. Sorry, but them's the brakes. We're doing our job here. So, unless you've got something else to propose, we'll be taking the ship in. Our employer will handle the pilot. I'm not convinced this is a good idea. You're starting to make a lot of sense. I guess they never have to know. You know what? Fine. I'll tell our guy the ship's gone. We get paid either way. This ain't worth the trouble. Just be extra careful out there. If my client ever finds out the truth, we may meet again, and I won't be so cordial. You can untie your pilot and let him take the damn ship. I'm done with this headache. Thanks. I... I thought that was gonna be it for me. I can't believe you worked out that deal. Jane's gonna be happy to get her ship back. I was just about to write the whole thing off as a loss, but damn, you pulled it off. I guess I'll stay here with these guys until their ship returns, and I'll meet you back at Jane's. You got that, Scott. I don't want to hear any complaints. And there was a time when... Excellent.
where it is. You think there ain't We got a lot of bars we'll in the go. city. All class joints. Just need to find a well, time. Well, except Aggies. <clears throat> hey, hold up. The mayor's all right. Always painting too rosy a picture, though. Hey. So, Henry's new batch. How'd it go over? It's bad, Eloise. Really bad. You should have seen Sam's face when he drank it. It was like he was sucking a lemon. Gladys literally okay. gagged. Hello. Everyone's been talking about it. What? That, that's terrible. I had to give them all free burgers to smooth things over. I took all of Henry's old stuff off the menu. Can you we get a refund? You should try Philburn's beer. It's brewed in the city, and it ain't bad. Not looking forward to talking Pardon? to Henry. But I'll take care of it. Late one night, Annie will come. I really don't. Weston needs to get his brother focused on food production instead of wasting time brewing beer. If I ran things, we wouldn't have this problem. Something happened to Henry's beer? That's terrible. So terrible. But I'm sure I know nothing about it. Here's some credits for delivering the news. I expect that's the last I'll be seeing of you. might have some work for someone like you. I'll say right up, I get all kinds in here. Rangers, traders, locals, tourists, they all come to me for supplies. Feel free to look around. Nobody's allowed outside the city wall. Having any trouble finding what I need, I hope. Hey, I hope it wasn't too much trouble. Let me take a look. Hmm, that is too bad now, isn't it? 
This is less than I asked for. Come back when you have them all, will you please? for can I have it oh thanks a bunch oh I can't wait to read it again and then put it away for safekeeping so it holds its value here's the money I promised Did you know they filmed one of oh uh, tracked down another volume of Dragon Star Force <laughs> I definitely appreciate it if you could help me out again oh this means a lot to me <laughs> you won't regret helping me out Do you ever get songs stuck in your head? Sometimes. Hope everything. Glad you're back. Everything okay? So what happened? Who took it? It was stolen. Oh, jeez. I guess it really was too good to be true when I bought it. Anyway. I'm super glad you found my ship and saved Eric. It's more than I could have hoped. I'm glad I asked you instead of relying on Sistef. I never would have seen the Berry Mule again if I did that. You've done me a real solid here. There's really nothing I can do to fully repay you for what you did. Here's what I can afford to pay you. And on top of that, I'll see what I can do to lower the price of anything you want to buy from me. Thanks again. Can you believe some people just... Sure thing. Take a look. Yeah. Bye. Go to Mars, they say. The bay is great. <laughs> 